Hello everyone, welcome to how to solve contacted.com. Today we will be solving a problem which was asked in GATE 2008. And this problem is creating a lot of confusion over internet. And thanks to Vicky Bajoria who forwarded me this question. And let's solve this. So before we start this, we have to know the basics or the basic rule to transform a ER diagram into a relation or relational table. So the first rule is the following are the cases where we take separate tables. So first one is strong entity. Okay. The next case is weak entity. Now the relations. So in case of relations, if we have 1 is to 1 or 1 is to n, we won't take any any separate table. But if we have m is to n relation, that is many to many relationship, then we will take separate table. Now for attributes, if we have multi-valued attribute, that is And if we have composite attribute, fine, then we will take separate table. So let's start with our problem. Here we have this M and P are strong entity. So we will have to take separate table for it. Now this N is weak entity. So we will take separate table for it. Fine. Now coming to the relationship. So for this three entities, we need three tables. Okay, for these three entities. Now coming to relation. We have R1 and R2 relation. So let's start with R2. R2 is here a uh, relationship with weak entity of P. I mean P is in relationship with weak entity N. And this is total participation. So here we have to find out whether there will be a case of m is to n or not that is many to many case will be there or not so in case of weak entities there will always be 1 is to n relationship because let's say consider a famous example of weak entity that is dependent and this is employee so let's uh, let's say this n is dependent and this p entity is employee and that is dependent is related with related to one employee of a company then the same dependent will not be related to or will not be associated with other employee in the company okay so there will not be a case of m is to n so it will be always 1 is to n okay that is one to many and that's why we don't need any separate table for this relation now the most confusing part that is this R1 relation. So what will be the case here? Whether will be, we will have 1 is to 1 or 1 is to n or n is to n. Okay. So this is the most confusing portion of this problem and the solution is and uh, what we say is the rule is nowhere mentioned. So first of all we need to find out what this arrow sign says. This arrow here we have one arrow here we have one arrow right. So what is this arrow sign? After searching over the internet I found out a useful link and I'll share with you all. I will be sharing the URL for this link but if you see here we have various representation of the cardinality and one is this arrow method. So if you see this this is method 3 and 1 means single arrow and many means no arrow means whenever we have the side which we have this single arrow is one side okay and this one is many side fine so this one faculty attains many classes okay so similarly this concept we will apply here in this problem and we will see so now we know that 
this the side which has arrow that is this side this side is one side okay and where there is no arrow is n side okay similarly this is one side where there is arrow and this is n side so as we already concluded that this is one is to n relationship as this is weak entity but here now it is clear that this is n is to 1 only okay from the notation which we have just learned so if this is n is to 1 we need not to take a separate table right so for this also we need not to take a separate table and for this r2 also we need not to take a separate table it means that the three tables are enough to store the complete relationship into the relational database okay so now we know that this answer is correct okay now let's go to the next question which has asked which is the possible attribute of the table or one of the table or one of the possible table so at our first look only we can say that this is impossible situation because if you see the option a b and c b and c option it includes the attribute from all the relations that is m p and n so this is an impossible condition this is also impossible this m1 and p1 could be the answer only if we would have taken this r1 as a separate table but as we know that this n and 1 i mean this is n is to 1 relationship and we are not taking a separate table for this r1 so this is also wrong the only option remaining is this and now we will see how it is correct and why it is correct so as this this relationship this r1 is n is to 1 and we know when the relation is n is to 1 what do we do the primary key from the one side we move to n side okay in the table so this p1 will come with this all the attribute m1 m2 m3 and p1 and we will store so the structure of table will be something like this this will be m1 which will be primary key and then m2 then m m3 and finally this p1 okay so this will be a foreign key which will be referring to the relation or the attribute of or the primary key of p so this will be the resulting table and now we know that this is the correct answer i hope this is clear if you have any doubt please ask your question or comment leave your comment below so we will be discussing again thanks for watching